It's easily the worst I've seen in my 25 years in the business. 75% of our city's not here. There's not one local business. And the houses on the beach are just completely gone. Well, they're gone. I've seen the hurricanes with uh, major wind damage, and I've seen the hurricanes with major storm surge damage. Uh, I don't remember seeing one with such a combination of the two. This has to be one of the best examples of storm surge flooding that I've ever seen as far as video goes. And it's from Hurricane Michael in Mexico Beach, Florida. All of that lumber, all of that furniture, riding lawnmowers, boats was mixed into this storm surge. So you had this really nasty combination of uh, wind, storm surge, and the storm surge was full of major, major debris that went all the way from the ocean, all the way down 14th Street. And we measured it off and it's literally a quarter of a mile from the ocean to the end of 14th Street where the storm surge uh, stopped and where there were cars and boats and debris literally a quarter mile from the ocean. Sorry, shaking. We're in the eye wall. Tons of debris. Uh-oh. That tree wasn't there before. Trying to avoid this. Good storm surge. As we sat uh, in in the house with the Nichols family, it was surreal that we were sitting in this brand new house. And there was literally no damage inside this house. Now, they didn't have electricity and running water at this time, obviously. But when you're inside the house, you felt like you were just simply at somebody's house who had the lights off. Every house on the Nickel Street was destroyed. Every house. Uninhabitable, except one. And that's the Nichols house that they got from Palm Harbor. Hi, I'm Colleen Rogers with Palm Harbor Homes. You may have heard about our homes. We build manufactured and modular homes that are known for weathering the storm and being more home for your money. Most of us don't buy a home that needs to weather a storm. And that's what Ron and Karen Nichols thought when they bought their home that they built here in Mexico Beach, Florida. Welcome to Mexico Beach. Mexico Beach has always been known for having some of the world's most beautiful white sand beaches and clear, clean emerald waters. It has always been a popular destination for vacationers from all over the country. Hurricane Michael made landfall in the U.S. as a Category 4 hurricane, just two miles per hour short of being a Category 5 hurricane. It was the strongest hurricane to ever hit the Florida Panhandle. Ground zero for Hurricane Michael was Mexico Beach, Florida. Of the 18 homes on 14th and 15th Street, many were flattened. Some were totally removed from their foundation. Others were ripped apart by the wind. And all of them were battered by the debris. All of them were destroyed, completely destroyed, except one. I'm just steps away from where the destruction began when Hurricane Michael hit Mexico Beach on October 10th. Fierce winds of at least 155 miles an hour tore up the beach, ripping homes from their foundations right here along the beach, crossing the highway, and destroying one home after another as it went up the street, pulling a huge storm surge of water behind it that reached 10 to 14 feet before it hit the home of Ron and Karen Nichols, a Palm Harbor home. 
And I'd like you to meet Ron and Karen and listen to them in their own words as they tell you how their home was built to weather the storm. When we came down, we didn't know what to expect the inside because my neighbor had told us prior to us coming that the water had got up to her roof line so we truly didn't know what to expect. So when we pulled in the yard and opened the doors and I don't want to get emotional because we walked in and there not, was no damage. Not I even mean, wet carpet, no damage carpet at all. Wet or anything. We mm -hmm. just said thank you Lord. There were tears. There was tears, there was tears. It was tears of joy, mm. not yeah. tears of sadness. It was tears of joy. So then I get goosebumps mm -hmm. and I just said, oh my goodness, Ron, look, you could close the blinds and never knew there was a hurricane on the outside. Mm. To walk inside and see yeah, this time. just what we left before the hurricane. It was a feeling that I can't describe. And now our neighbor's house, I guess from all the wind and the rain, it just looked like you could somebody stirred on the inside. The first the house on the other side, their house was, it had an upstairs. Their house split and the upstairs fell on the neighbor's house. You saw another part of their house in the real estate yard. So I, whether it's split in threes, I don't know. But I do know half of their house was on our neighbor's house. It's hard for me to talk to my neighbors about our house. I really want to paint an ugly picture because I feel guilty. Why did our house not get damaged and everybody else did? I think the most damage we've seen is from debris from other places that yeah. just covered our yard. Yeah, Roofs, good. doors, you know, stuff like that. Well, my so, bicycle yeah. that was in the shed in the was, road. was about 200 yards down the road. Yeah. I just happened to walk up on it and it was sitting there. <laughs> we're blessed. Yeah. We're blessed. Why are we so blessed? And yeah. Yeah. our neighbors lost everything. And I say neighbors, all of our neighbors yeah. lost everything. But they had a hand in it, I think. So. Home Harbor. <laughs> put a hedge of protection around it, I think. It's got to be intervention. It's got to be some kind of intervention, I feel. Yeah. Because, uh, and Palm Harbor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is going to be our retirement where we're going to live out our golden years. Well, they gave us the feeling that they didn't really want modular homes in town. But I guarantee and they I, do now. Yeah. I, I think this has changed a lot of people's mind because uh, we've proven them wrong, I think. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Nichols for sharing their story with us. And if you're interested in finding out about a Palm Harbor home that may be available in your area, please visit us at palmharborstrong.com.